Hello and welcome everyone to another Armored Warfare YouTube video. It's me Primer and I've got you a very special video today. This video will mark the start of a series that is aimed to help you guys obtain some of the special operations achievements. Today I will show you how you can get the prompt response achievement. I will discuss vehicle lineup, strategy used, positioning and other tips and tricks along the way that can help you out. First, let's talk lineup. Obviously, you want to have a full platoon that is on some sort of voice comms because this achievement requires a lot of coordination between the team. Once you have that figured out, then each member of the platoon needs to be in a key vehicle. Throughout my experience, I have found that the best platoon composition for this achievement consists of a Type 99A2 setup for max mobility, and I will touch on the setups in a second, a Sphinx that is set up for mobility too, two plz 5s and one more MBT, preferably a Challenger. As far as the setups go, for the type, you want to have an improved Bionier toolkit to help speed up repairs, improved filter systems for increased mobility, reinforced wheels so the tank cannot be immobilized with a single head to the tracks, and an improved gun breach for increased DPM. For consumables, two large repair kits, and yes, I know their bonuses do not stack anymore, but it's, it's very helpful to have two of them, and synthetic oil for increased mobility. I also like having Philip as a commander for his main skill which increases repair speed. For Sphinx, the ones that really matter are the improved filter systems for retrofits and synthetic oil for consumables. So make sure to pick these up. Now for the PLZ, first you want to have the stock cannon on it because that one comes with a four round magazine and it can fire all the four rounds within a second and a half of the first round. That will be a key ingredient in our strategy. For retrofits, you want to buff the aim time, accuracy and reload so make sure to do that. Now for the last vehicle, it can be any other MBT with a good survivability in PvE and that's why I prefer it to be a challenger. Now on to the strategy. The thing you have to remember here is that you don't need to rush any of the primary objectives. Take your time with them and conserve HP because you will need that later. Now keep in mind that the last primary objective is on a time or two and you might get a little bit short on time if you take too long to get to it. The overall strategy is to let the artillery handle the bunkers and the AI that spawn on the secondary objectives while sending a fast vehicle to grab it. Now these are the positions that should help you get the achievement, so take note of them. Also, I will explain more during the replay that you all are about to watch, and I will throw in a couple tips that I find useful. Alright, so uh, here we go, we are on the first chapter of the special operations, and I am driving the Sphinx. So I like to go in that position first, the start of the battle, to lay down some vision on the tool line, and check if the bots are coming from there. So far I find nothing, so uh, they're obviously coming from the uh, from the zero line. And here we go, they're coming from that zero line, so I relocate. And I start laying down fire. Now my goal here is not to push out the most damage, I was actually trying to avoid taking damage. I was trying to conserve my HP because I will need it later. Now keep an eye out on the artillery throughout the battle and see how they are relocating to get better firing positions throughout the different phases of the mission. Now I decided to go down and help the guys cap, we'll speed things up. Once we're done, I went back to the ridge. Usually this position works best, so I decided to stay up here. You'll see me use my auto cannon a lot, and that's because I was trying to conserve my missiles because I'll need them later defending the second cap. Target down. 
now that the second wave have been dealt with all what's left is to actually uh, set up for the first secondary objective and try and grab it within 10 seconds you don't want to move too far up so you don't trigger the secondary objective so staying here is the safest option. Now the type is waiting on the artillery to reload and pre-aim at the uh, bunkers as well as the AI that spawns there. So the artillery are now ready and uh, the type will now move up on the secondary objective. The AI that spawns there, it doesn't spawn on the cap and it doesn't stay on the cap. It kind of like retreats once you get up there. So it shouldn't be an issue. Also, blind firing on the bunker or the bot that spawns up there does not work. So keep that in mind. And here we go. That's the first secondary objective done in less than 10 seconds. So going up here, it will allow me to help my MBTs to clear out the cap over there. Unfortunately, there's a K-21 down there that's proximity spotting me. So anytime I come up to the ridge, I'm always spotted. So I need to be careful. So here I make a little bit of a misplay. I thought the K21 down there doesn't have enough gun elevation to hit me up here, but um, well, I did take a little bit of damage that was unnecessary damage. Now I head down to the cap to help my guys clear it out and then uh, capture it. Up until this point, I'm still trying to conserve my HP. So I'm trying to avoid taking damage, I'm using my smoke, and then I'm using the MBTs on my team to grab the attention of the bots so they don't shoot me. Use your rebuild kit before you die, because if you die after capturing the square and you try and respawn, the game will respawn you right where the second secondary objective is and will activate it and you won't have enough time to get to it, so that will basically fail the achievement. And that's actually where we were lucky because the challenger dies and then respawns, but because we haven't captured the square yet, the game respawned the challenger on the zero line. Since we are good on timer, I'm not going to drive into the cap circle. I'm just gonna hang back here and uh, stay safe and give the challenger time to come up here. The spot you see me going into right now, I'm trying to get as close as possible to the building behind me. The reason behind it is that I'm trying to proximity spot any AI that spawns behind us in the alley. And here we go. We spotted a T-15 coming up from behind and uh, we gave a heads up to our MBTs that they will have to deal with it soon. And of course proximity spotting works both ways, so I was, I was spotted there so I had to move. So far so good. All we need to do is just clear out the rest of the bots and then uh, we should be good to go. At this point I am out of muscles but I don't want to use my rebuild kit because I'll need it later. Switching to HE sometimes is useful dealing with a type if you try and shoot the driver hatch with HE.
and here we go all the bots have been dealt with and right now I'm just waiting on the artillery to pre-aim and give me the go so I can go and grab the secondary objective so I'm getting the affirmative from the artillery and now I'm moving up Watch that amazing work by the artillery. Check that out. First bunker is down. Second bunker is on the way. Two more hits, and it goes down. And here we go. We got the second secondary objective. I'm trying to get off this cliff before dying, but yeah. But that shouldn't be an issue since we saved our rebuild kit for that exact scenario. So for the last secondary objective. It's a little bit of a hit or miss and there's a little bit of a luck involved. So on that secondary objective, there's one bunker and one light tank. That light tank spawns on the cap. As long as there's an enemy vehicle on the cap, you won't be able to capture it and you'll have to kill it first. The same thing goes for the bunker. If there's a bunker still up, you won't be able to capture it and you have to kill the bunker. Now there are two possible light tanks that spawns up there. Either a K21 or a PL01. If it's a K21, artillery should have no issue dealing with it. If it's a PL01, then we'll probably have to try again. I'm trying to decide which way to take to get to the secondary objective. Take a look at the other path. It's a little bit more straight to get up there, but then I decide to go up this area up here. It's a little bit shorter and I have the mobility to get up there. And we get very lucky and it's a K21, so check out that artillery work. Here I'm a little bit excited about it and uh, I keep driving into stuff. I'm trying to figure out if we actually uh, manage to get it in time or not. Then I get the confirmation from one of our artillery guys that the timing was very good. So what's left for us from here is try and get to that last primary objective. It doesn't matter if anyone dies at this point, staying alive or dying doesn't affect the achievement. You just need to win the mission for it to count. Now at this point you don't really need to go and defend that cab as you guys see the bots keep driving in and out of it And wham pam thank you ma'am prompt response is in the bag now before I end this video, I would like to give a huge shout out to Cosmic, Doomed Grind, Gin Merchandise and MoFo, all from the Reaper Battalion, without of whom this video simply would not have been possible. If you enjoyed this video or found it useful, please give it a thumbs up, it helps the channel out. Also if you have any questions, suggestions or ideas, then feel free to leave them in the comment section down below and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more Armored Warfare contents.